I'm Della Cruz. Tonight in Spotlight, New Jersey, Daytop, New Jersey, with headquarters in Mendham. The nonprofit organization offers substance abuse treatment and education no programs to male and female adolescents. Jim Curtin is the senior vice president and executive director. Thank you, Jim, for joining us by phone tonight. Thank you, Della. Good evening. Explain what Daytop New Jersey is and its mission. Well, the mission is to provide highly effective substance abuse and education uh, to teenagers and young adults. Um, we provide uh, counseling and a high school education. Uh, we're specifically a special ed high school for those kids who have uh, the dual challenge of substance use and um, special ed. Now that we're in the middle of the summer break, Jim, do you see an increase in first-time substance abusers? And if so, why? Yeah, more teens try marijuana for the first time during the summer than at any other time of the year. This is according to a report from the White House Office of National Drug Control Policy. Uh, kids typically equate summer with free. This is the very reason why parents need to be more involved in their teens' lives. Uh, more kids will try marijuana for the first time in June and July than any other month of the year. What is the most serious trend in current substance abuse? Uh, undoubtedly, it's the misuse of prescription pills uh, among teenagers and young adults, and it's on the rise, and there is a definite link um, to heroin use without question. Kids begin using or misusing prescription pills uh, often go on to heroin abuse. Jim, is it true? I'm picturing those big bowls at parties where kids just pour all these prescription pills into it and then dive into it. Is it true that easily acquired prescription drugs are now the gateway to heroin use? Undoubtedly. Uh, absolutely, Della. Um, the underlying problem is access to drugs such as oxycodone, Percocet, uh, Vicodin. These drugs are readily available. Um, and uh, they're, they're expensive when they can no longer be accessed uh, in parents' and grandparents' medicine cabinets. And then kids are paying anywhere from $20 to $80 a pill, and they're hooked, and they're addicted, and somebody introduces them to a, a 5 or a $10 a bag of heroin, and off they go, and, and life immediately spirals out of control. Oh, wow. Jim, thank you very much for joining us tonight to draw our attention to this problem. Jim Curtin, the executive director of Daytop New Jersey and Mendham, thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good evening.